Belief is obviously the most fundamental of human behaviors that we need to be in their best version of ourselves, physically, mentally, spiritually. Every area of life, you've got to have your sleep dialed in. I mean, I think Matthew Walker puts it best that if we actually didn't need sleep, it'd be the most evolutionary, stupidest thing to possibly do. Think about it, you're lying there in a coma for eight hours, you're not physically doing anything, you're not reproducing, then why the hell are you sleeping? It's because it's that fundamental to who we are as humans. And this whole sleep till you're dead mentality is absolute bullshit. Because if you really are trying to make the most out of life, you have to sleep more. That's the only way to get around it. As a neuroscience professional, someone who's obsessed about biohacking, you better believe that I'm squeezing every single minute of my sleep to get the most bang for my buck. And the best part about it is I've discovered multiple actionable tips that anyone can do that are relatively affordable to improve the quality of your sleep. There's arguably four pillars of being a healthy, happy human being. Obviously diet, that's what you're eating and putting in your body. There's exercise, there's mental health, and then there is productivity, you know, being a productive member of society. And usually people just tack on fifth as sleep that you just needed to be able to be a healthy person. But I would say all these pillars sit on the actual cornerstone of sleep. Think about it. If you didn't sleep right, how hard are you gonna go into your workouts? How good is your diet gonna be? You're probably gonna reach for an extra caffeine drink or probably gonna eat some junk food. How productive are you gonna be? And obviously there's no way you're actually gonna be happy because it's been proven over and over again. People who sleep less are more cranky, irritated, and irritable. Bro, I mean, you should see when I'm going to bed. I got my full sleep setup going up. I look like an animal. I look like I'm straight out of Frankenstein. I have my mouth apparatus in for sleep apnea. I have my, my mouth tape. I have my Breathe Easy strip. I have my silk mask. I, I, I mean, I go crazy, bro. This is not even to mention all the supplements I take beforehand and also my evening routine. I mean, my whole lights in my apartment are red. I use an aura ring in order to track my sleep. So I know I'm definitely getting the best bang for my buck. And I use an eight sleep mattress, which is thermo regulating my sleep temperature at night in order to get the best freaking deep sleep possible. So these five supplements have moved the needle for me the most out of all the hundreds of supplements I've tried. And it's clearly evident by my aura ring numbers because I see how much more REM sleep I'm getting, how much more deep sleep I'm getting. Even on some nights, I'm only sleeping six and a half to seven hours, which is I mean, obviously a big no-no. I'm still getting more higher quality sleep than even when I was sleeping eight, nine hours on different types of supplements or when I wasn't even doing sleep strategies at all. So I've shortlisted these for you and the links are all gonna be in the description. But one by one, I'm gonna explain the benefits of each and which is the most bang for your buck. The first supplement is magnesium theranate. And I learned this from Daddy Huberman. Uh, as you may know, he's one of the best, foremost neurobiologist uh, podcasters. Uh, I've been changing his content for a while. But magnesium theranate, I used to use my magnesium bisinoglate. Bice I've tried other forms of magnesium, but this one crosses the blood brain barrier. And the way I like to describe it is, you know that noise that you have, your mental chatter when you're trying to go to bed at night? You're constantly thinking about the poor decisions you made, crap you've done 12, 15 years ago, for some reason you think about it that night. This just gets rid of all that mental chatter. I don't know what it does, man, but it relaxes me, helps me get ready to bed. And this single-handedly has made me, uh, I feel more recovered after my workouts as well. One of the best parts about this, it's actually not that expensive. So I would highly recommend magnesium theranate if you're someone who's looking just for an entry-level setup. You don't even need all the other supplements. Just get magnesium and you'll already be like half the way there. The second supplement that's made the biggest difference for my sleep quality is glycine. Now, this has been more of like a lifestyle quality improvement than even a biohacking like quality improvement because one of the things I struggle with the most when it comes to sleeping is the duration it takes for me to fall asleep. So when I get into bed, versus actually falling asleep. I mean, man, it could be like 20, 30, sometimes an hour long. And it's the most frustrating and annoying, it's, it's very uncomfortable feeling. You're just tossing and turning and you, you don't know why you can't fall asleep. And what this does, is it reduces that duration of what, how long it takes for you to fall asleep. And it's worked wonders for me. I mean, I've tried one milligram. I mean, I've tried one gram less than that, but I, taking two grams has been the sweet spot for me. And I know that it's single-handedly doing that job well, because when I remove glycine, because I'm constantly doing experiments with myself, I'm constantly removing supplements, adding supplements to see what's working, what's really not working. And glycine is the one that helps me fall asleep the fastest. Now, the next benefit of glycine that really helps me is waking up less groggy. Most of the time we call this sleep inertia in neuroscience terms, but sleep inertia is that when you wake up and you're still a little groggy and you need caffeine to kickstart your day, you know how it is, right? This gets rid of that as well. I mean, it's pretty freaking crazy how, how powerful this drug is. And it's also one of the cheapest on this list. Go ahead and grab uh, glycine if you haven't already and give it a shot. The third supplement that's made the biggest shift in my quality of sleep has been L 
theanine. You've probably heard of this. Uh, it's one of the most famous supplements for sleep, one of the most well-researched supplements for sleep. Most scientists say it has something to do with the specific effects amino acids have on the chemicals in the brain that help promote restful sleepness. From personal experience, L-theanine really just helps calm my nerves down. Um, it's if I'm anxious throughout the day, if I'm running on on the whole time, it helps me just really calm down, relax. Like I just almost took a warm bath and it gets me right in the mood to sleep. Uh, I want to say like magnesium helps my physical body get ready to sleep. L-theanine helps the mental part of my body to get ready to sleep. That's where it's been the, the most beneficial for me because even my body is relaxed, sometimes my mind is running and I can't help it stop. The crazy thing about L-theanine is the dreams. You like I know I'm getting more REM sleep on L-theanine because when I check my Aura Ring, my REM score is higher. But L-theanine, its benefits are people say you shouldn't take it if you are scared of nightmares. Nightmares are actually good for when you're trying to go to bed. Many people do not know this, but your brain's way of processing emotions and almost therapy for itself is by having dreams. So the more dreams you have, the more vivid they are, the more internal work that your brain is going through in order to process those deep-rooted and subconscious feelings. So yeah, man, if you want to see like unicorns flying and you want to have more restful sleep, I would definitely grab L-theanine. Another pretty cheap one on this list and also just it's last a long time I mean you can even take this in the morning days that you're feeling extra anxious for some reason I've taken this just in the morning when I know I have a big presentation or something coming up the fourth supplement I take is ashwagandha ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic supplement Ayurveda is pretty much the science Indian ancient science of healing and health and helping people promote a natural lifestyle through through remedies that are found in nature and the way ashwagandha, I mean, man, this this has benefits beyond sleep. I mean, it, it, this is something that should be in every single person's cabinet. Not only helps with vitality, it helps with regulating hormones for females, it helps with boosting testosterone for men, it helps with stress and prevent reducing cortisol levels. This is a powerful herb and is one of the best, I think, in what it does. In the context of sleep, there's two ways it really helps. One is reducing sleep latency. This is one, it's once again, uh, the time it takes to fall asleep. Now the way it does this is that by reducing cortisol, you're actually increasing serotonin. It's just an inverse relationship. And serotonin is a precursor, biosynthetic precursor to a famous uh, drug that you know, melatonin, which many people take and self-medicate themselves to help them fall asleep better. Now this is the way, so basically this helps you promote natural melatonin without actually having to just in, in, induce it on its own by taking the drug on itself. So it helps you fall asleep faster. Also, the second benefit of ashwagandha is it really helps you regulate your sleep cycles. So getting those proper 45 minute cycles of sleep, making sure you fall asleep at the right time. When you wake up in the middle of the night and you let's say you have to use the bathroom and you're like, crap, it's gonna take an hour again to fall asleep because I already woke up in the middle of the night. That's where ashwagandha really shines because it really helps you get back into the sleep cycle in order to promote healthy, deep quality sleep. The fifth and final supplement that I take every single night is apigenin. Apigenin is is the active ingredient in chamomile tea. Maybe you've heard of chamomile tea, it's once again used a lot in Eastern therapeutic medicine, but it really helps you promote deep restful sleep, deep relaxation, and fall asleep faster. Also, many times this helps just incorporating your routine, right? You drink your chamomile tea before sleeping, reading a book, it helps you get into the process of falling asleep faster. But apigenin really shines for me personally is in not having insomnia episodes. I'm someone who, when I go to bed at night, it has happened before where I stay up for like five, six hours, you know, I just can't fall asleep. It's a really uncomfortable, torturous feeling that just absolutely sucks and ruins my whole week. And sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and that happens to me, right? But that's where epigenin shines. Ever since I've been starting to take it, I'm still experimenting with this one. Every time, ever since I started taking it, that has not happened to me. And that's one of the jobs of epigenin is to promote deep relaxation and restfulness. So you're almost like a log sleeping like a baby uh, in bed. Yeah, so those are my five supplements that I take that are part of my sleep stack every single night. And I've tried experimenting with others. You know, I've tried inositol. Uh, I've tried um, GABA as well. And while, I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes they don't, um, I'm still experimenting with them, so I can't fully recommend them. The ones that these five that I recommend in this video have been without fail always working. Uh, I even take them on the go. It, I notice a big difference when I take them versus not taking them to help sleep at night. So if you found this video helpful or informative at all, go ahead and leave a like down below or drop a comment letting me know. Sid, we appreciate you because that lets me know, that lets me know that y'all are digging this shit. So I appreciate you all very, very much. Um, and let me know, yeah. Yeah, uh, if there's anything you have questions on or comments on, happy to address them. And one of the best things about sleep, man, is once you nail it and figure it out, it goes a long way improving your quality 
quality of life. Uh, but here's the catch. All these supplements, they do make a big difference, but they only make a big difference if you have the fundamentals down. If you're not giving yourself eight to nine hours, if you're not going to bed at a decent time, if you're drinking and going out and partying and taking these supplements, hoping you still get a good night of sleep. Sorry to kill your vibe, but it's probably not gonna move the needle. But if you do have all these things taken care of and you wanna push it to the next level, yeah, absolutely. You know, start with magnesium, go into glycine, try L-theanine. Sasho gum is definitely a kick-ass supplement and so is Apigenin. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So go ahead and follow me on my socials at Sid Chabla on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And appreciate you guys once again. Thank you so much.